Today I share with you an important message on the power of giving back. Years ago, the message like this changed my life, changed the way that I lived life, and I pray that it changes yours. Also, beginning tonight on our second television channel, Prayer America, we're going to have a personal prosperity prayer for you to pray along with me. In Luke 6, verse 38, it says, Give, and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, shaken together, to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount that you get back. Twice a year, in July and at the end of September, we deliver a special message asking you to prayerfully consider us in your giving. This message is intended only for those that have not given or it has been a great while. We never write direct solicitation letters and we never do fundraising. Our ministry operates entirely on a free will offering basis through the generosity of its readers and viewers. We're completely independent and we have no other means of support. Every gift makes a difference. Even the smallest gift helps us greatly because a lot of small gifts add up significantly in our ability to continue all of our free services to those craving our positive written and televised messages around our world. One donation does make a difference. And then I send you a personal thank you letter of acknowledgement to everyone that gives. It has been said that success is the sum efforts repeated day in and day out. Well, positive Christianity gives first day in and day out. Someone once compared positive Christianity to Old Faithful in Yellowstone Park. Every morning at 2 a.m. California time, we can be relied upon for fresh motivation, encouragement, inspiration, and the positive message that touches so many. Since 1999, we have come to you daily without fail. That is 5,328 morning messages that have been aimed at strengthening your faith and uplifting you daily. Over 2,100 videos are available for you to view free. Thousands of written prayers are available free to read and also to print on your own from our website. All are provided, again, free of charge for all people everywhere. We are here simply to help in your faith walk, and we encourage each person to attend the church of his or her choice. We have no agenda other than helping people. Positive written sermons serve ministers of every faith without charge weekly. Continuous prayer support is the very hub of our work. We believe in the power of God's good working in people's lives every single day. It has been said individually we're just one drop, but together we're an ocean. Collectively, we are a large mass of believers seeking to better themselves, making a real difference in our world. Positive Christianity tells people to aim not at what they are, but at what they could be. We do not believe in the word impossible. We believe that word means I'm possible. We would accomplish many more things if we did not think of them as impossible. 
God's help is available to each and every one of us, no matter what our faith. Many people on a ba daily basis pray with us for prosperity. John D. Rockefeller said this. He said, I would have never been able to tithe on my first million dollars that I ever made if I had not tithed on my first salary, which was $1.50 per week. What I have kept, I lost. What I gave, I have. True prosperity comes not from getting, but from giving. Getters generally don't get happiness. Givers get it. Giving is the absolute foundation of this ministry, and it is the reason for our success. We do not have a copyright on anything, but rather we say to you that you have a right to copy. You don't even have to give us credit. Just give it to God. John Templeton of Franklin Templeton Funds said, I have observed 100,000 families over my years of investment counseling. I always saw greater prosperity and happiness among those families who tithed than among those that didn't. Some people say give until it hurts, but God recommends that we give until it feels good. God loves a cheerful giver. Giving is not a duty. My friend, it is a privilege. It is evidence of our faith, and it's an honor, and the greatest thing that we can spiritually experience. To be a part of God's active good on earth. John Wesley, the founder of Methodism, believed in prosperity. He said, earn as much as you can, save as much as you can, invest as much as you can, give as much as you can. We believe in prosperity, and we believe in the individual following God's direction can achieve more than they could ever dream on their own. We know that when good is seemingly blocked in our lives, an individual needs to give more of themselves to create a spiritual circulation and a flow. Now, if a turtle is on a fence post, we have ev evidence that it did not get there on its own. Often when we're at the highest pinnacles of life, we must prayerfully realize that we did not get here on our own. Positive Christianity has God's help daily, and we continue to. To God goes great credit. But I also give credit to you, those that help us on a monthly basis with their gifts. God bless you, and thank you. If you would like to help Positive Christianity with a gift, I invite you to go to our website, positivechristianity.org. Scroll down to the very bottom, and in the left-hand corner, you will see Make a Secure Donation. You can do it there online instantly or you can send your gift to us. And again, I will look forward to writing you and thanking you. You can send it to Positive Christianity, Box 7993, Woodlands, Texas, 77380. Remember to tune to our second channel beginning Monday night for a personal prosperity prayer. And I bless you, and I thank you for considering us in your monthly giving.